Hi, I'm Chris, the weather guy in the team. I hold a Master of Science. I've been in the team for four years now. I also am an MB plus coach, so we may be chatting in the app one of these days. Ha, <laughs> good question. There has not been a lot of uh, scientific research on weather sensitivity. A few years ago in Australia, they did a study over a wide range of population and a wide range of conditions, and it failed to find a strong correlation between pain and weather. So many would be tempted to say that weather sensitivity is a myth. That said, we need to know that Australia doesn't have such severe weather variations and pressure variations than we find in Northern America or in Northern Europe. So I think it would be much more insightful to perform such study, let's say in Canada or in Ireland. And on top of that, uh, one out of four migrant buddy users reports or suspects weather sensitivity. So this is huge. It means that under certain weather conditions, you're much more likely to have an attack or have a flare up. So such weather conditions can be big swings in atmospheric pressure, like just before a storm. It can be high humidity, it can be high temperature, it can be high luminous intensity. So the more uh, you are sensitive to weather, the more likely you are to have an attack or have a flare up with high to even moderate weather changes. You may have heard that some people claim that they have a barometer within and can predict when there will be a weather change. So first of all, if you're not highly sensitive to weather changes, you can avoid having an attack even with adverse weather condition. Providing you minimize your exposure to other stresses or risk factors or what we call triggers. These days, it is critical that you protect yourself from, let's say, sleep disruption, certain food, dehydration, anxiety, anything that you know you are sensitive to. And second, plan ahead and avoid any risky activity these days, such as driving with an aura. And for this, Migrant Buddy's weather forecast feature is of great help. Every month, the new weather reports scores the weather and migraine risk in your city and it also scores how sensitive you are to weather and how you compare to other migraine buddy users. And this is based on the actual weather in your city and your records in the app. There might be some seasonal variations to your sensitivity. So each month, check out your weather report and see how your sensitivity evolves and how it compares to other users.